Nashville is on track for one of its most violent years on record. Many family members of homicide victims are experiencing heartbreak this holiday season. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon explains how an event tonight will ensure loved ones are not forgotten. Emily. Well, the holiday season can be a very difficult time for people who have lost a family member. Of course, it brings back lots of memories. But tonight, a group came together to remember their lost loved ones and support each other. I was thinking about putting the picture on one side. I got some little stickers. Nashville families who share a common bond. It's kind of hard. Came together for a solemn holiday event. It's just our way to say remember him, we would miss him. It's a place Yu Wong and his mother never expected to be. Knowing that other family are going through the same thing. Yeah. He's missed. Um, we can talk, it's a little bit comforting. Um, doesn't make it easier, but it's comforting. His father was killed about a month ago while he was taking out the trash. The killer remains on the run. My dad is 74 years old, very loving father. Um, love to travel, love to explore Nashville. How you been doing? Now they join others. This is a way that we can keep Tevin in our hearts. In honoring their lost loved ones by making Christmas ornaments at the annual Season to Remember event. And it helps me through the, the holiday season. I'm putting ribbons on the photographs. For Tony McPhee, it's a chance to remember his son and nephew who were killed in 2005 and reach out to others who are grieving. You can't do this thing by yourself. I promise you, you can't. We did like the little stockings. It looks just like you. While he finds comfort in familiar faces, seeing new faces join the group <sighs> is upsetting. Yes, it's 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 out of control. Yoon hopes the group won't continue to grow and others won't have to share their heartbreak. It's senseless. So many people just die for no reason. And anyone who has lost a loved one to violence can come to the 23rd annual Season to Remember Memorial Service. It will be this Thursday evening at 545 at the Children's Garden at Centennial Park. All of the ornaments made tonight will be placed on a tree in the garden. Reporting at Public Square Park, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thank